TV. Today we have Phil McCauley from Quadcast. Phil, thanks for coming to the office. No sweat. Phil is the um, MD for the region and uh, before we, could, we jump into what we're going to talk about, can you uh -huh. just explain what Quadcast does? Because yeah. it's doing a lot of things obviously, but what, right. what, could you give us a, a nutshell? So Quadcast is a measurement company, digital measurement company and a digital targeting company. Wow, that was pretty concise. I like that. Um, today we're going to talk about prospecting and display. Obviously, uh, retargeting gets a lot of the credit in this industry and a lot of the budget, and prospecting often gets overlooked by a lot of uh, advertisers and agencies. So Phil's here today to talk about the value of prospecting and display and how it can be an important part of the buying process. So Phil, just let's talk about prospecting and why okay. it's important. Okay, so the reason why prospecting is important is because if you do a number of A-B tests on, say, prospecting and retargeting, prospecting is actually responsible for between 60 and 80% of all incremental new sales for a campaign. Okay. And that is completely overlooked by only looking at last I'd seen. Okay. So let's, let's, let's map this out for, uh, okay. for the viewers. Uh, okay. So where do so, we start? So I think, you know, we overlook last ad scene because mm. it's complex to understand the path to purchase. Okay. And so let me just go through the path to purchase and I'm obviously going to simplify it using the famous funnel. Okay. We like the funnel. We like the funnel. Um, so let's go through that and just explain how this works. So basically you're prospecting part of a campaign, let's say this is prospecting, and then you've got site visit here. And then we've got retargeting happens here with a conversion event at the bottom there. Now, obviously this is simplifying, simplifying yeah. uh, things a lot. And the path to conversion could be someone receives a display ad here. Yeah. Another display ad, let's just call it D. At this point now, the user is in the path to purchase, so we've got a generic search. Yeah. Search here. Maybe another display ad branded search term yeah okay site visit retarget conversion event and what everyone has visibility today and where everyone's lights are, are pointing is just this one impression here and this is everyone in the industry is focused on that event because yeah. that's the event you get credit for right so if that's the event you get credit for all the vendors all the targeting vendors whether that's a DSP or whatever you want to call it, mm. are all focused on winning this one event and there's no consideration to how this user ended up buying this, this yeah. particular product. There seems to be a lot of uh, touch points here. I mean, right. that's, I mean, I can see an immediate problem with prospecting in the sense that how do you measure this and how do you, right. how do you, how do you sign a, a response, you know, the, how do you sign who actually was responsible for all the touch points in right. the process? Right. And, and you know, and you know, the reason why people are focused on this event is because of that. Because basically, the ad serving reports yeah. all default to last ad yeah. scene, and so it's very easy for the industry to do that. Yeah. Which means, as an industry, we're ignoring all this. So yeah. this is where, when I said we we did an A/B test on some of our own campaigns, clean plan with only only us on it, which allows us to do an mm. A/B test. Mm. Split the cookies, split prospects and retargeting. Yeah. And what you see is, from here, you get sixty percent to 80% of incremental sales, new sales, let me put new, yeah. come from this part. That doesn't mean that when someone was served an ad here they weren't retargeted, they were probably retargeted, and retargeting is important to finish the job off. Mm. But without the prospecting, this would be the opportunity that you miss out on, and why, 60 to 80%. Why do you think a lot of people in the industry are kind of missing out on this opportunity or are not seeing the value of this? I, I, I generally think it's been too complex for them to figure it out. Right. Um, and so, you know, given that we figured this out through A-B tests, and A-B tests are very, very hard to do, so you can't really put A-B tests on every single campaign. Mm. It's too difficult to set it up, and although we're working mm. on that, um, it's too difficult to set up. So one thing that we have been doing to enable people to understand this value mm is we've been looking at something and developing a report called View Before Visit. View Before Visit? View Before Visit. Okay. As what happens when a user views an ad before they visit the site, yeah. and thus before they then get retargeted. Yeah. So that spits out some interesting results. So View Before Visit 
before visit spits out three important variables which makes it really simple to understand prospecting. Mm. So number one, when you're looking at a campaign, have you reached new people that have not yet been to the advertiser site? Yeah. And we call that new reach rate. Right? And this example here, let's call that 92%. So what we could say is for campaign A, 92% of all the people we reached, we reached before they went to the advertiser's site. Mm. Okay? So that means that you know, we're out there finding new people to pull down the funnel. Yeah. Incremental sales is, yeah. is what we're after. Number two, we then say, what's the visit rate of these people? We call it VBV visit rate. So of these 92%, what percentage then went on to visit the advertiser's mm. site? And you can, see where it's, you can see where it's quite a simple way of doing it. So let's say yeah. 3%. And then you say, what's the conversion rate? So here we say VBV conversion rate. And we say, of the people that we showed ads further up the funnel, which is proper prospecting before they'll visit the advertiser yep. site, what percentage visit the site? What percent convert? So let's say 3% convert. Versus, you can compare that against the average site conversion rate. And that comes in at, say, something like... 1.5%. Yeah. So then what you can do is you can compare the conversion rate of those people that you showed ads to before the visit site, i.e. prospecting. Mm. So the value of prospecting can be brought out by that stat compared to these users that weren't prospected properly mm. or were just retargeted. Mm. And what we're finding is that there is everything from a 10% and in some cases up to an 80% lift in the conversion rate of showing people advertisements before they go to the advertiser site, which actually fits in with the A-B test we did that mm. shows that between 60 and 80% of incremental sales are actually driven from prospecting. Now, if we're all focused on last ad seen and retargeting, we're not focused on driving these incremental sales, and that is the opportunity that's, looked, that's been missed by the advertiser. But do you think there's a the fundamental the problem with this in the sense that uh, the attribution models have to be right for it to work properly. Right. I mean, there's a lot of touch points here. I mean, I, I agree with you. I think presently you have a real problem that retargeting is capturing all the budget. A lot of publishers might be in the path to conversion and not getting credited with, it, with mm. any sort of uh, value at all or, and, or financial sort of and, worth. And remember what it's about, because we all talk about getting credit and we all yeah. talk about retargeting and getting credit. That's great and vendors are all scrabbling for credit. But what we're talking about here is the missed opportunity for the advertiser to drive more sales. Yeah. And, and that, that's really what yeah. that's really what this zones in on. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, great overview of the prospecting uh, opportunity and why we should allocate more budget to it. So, Phil, thanks very much for coming in. Cheers. And that was Trader Talk TV. See you next week.